Hello friends, in this video, we will study line generation algorithm. So, the process of turning on the pixel for a line is called as line generation which means that we will turn on the pixel for a line so that type of algorithm is called as line generation algorithm so when we have to draw a line we should make sure that the pixel for that line should be in on condition which means that we have to increase the intensity of the pixel for a particular line so for that we will use two algorithms that is DD algorithm and Bresenheim algorithm So first we will do DD algorithms. So DD algorithm is also known as digital differential analyzers. So the full form of DD is digital differential analyzer algorithms so we will draw a line so a line will we have two points that is starting point and ending point so I will name as let x1 and y1 be the start point on the line and x2 y2 be the end point on a line so I will name it as x1 y1 start point x2 y2 end point and I will point one more line that is xi and yi that is ith point on the line so it will be xi yi be the ith point on the line and xi plus 1 comma y plus 1 be the i plus 1 th point on line so we know that slope of line m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 the relation of slope is given by y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so the equation of line is represented as equation of line is represented as y is equal to mx plus c so this is the equation of line so for ith point lie on the line so the equation will become yi which is equal to mxi plus c so I will give it as equation number 1 so for i plus 1 at point the equation a will become I am naming it as equation a so it will become y i plus 1 which is equal to m x i plus 1 plus c so I will limit as equation 2 so now I will subtract equation 2 with 1 
So after subtracting equation two with one, the equation will become as uh, y i plus one, which is equal to y i plus m x i plus one minus x i. So this is the equation which I got after subtracting equation two with one. So So I am giving you this rectangular block. So I will name it as equation three. So we know that the slope will have two condition. One is less than one, and one is greater than one. So accordingly, the diagram will vary. So so now for condition, two conditions are there. I already discussed. M is Less than one and m is greater than one. So two conditions are there for the line. That is for the slope. So the diagram will, if it, the line is less than one, then the line will be bending towards the x-axis. So for example, this is the line for slope. Less than one. So with slope less than one, which means that line will be bending towards the x-axis. For for slope greater than one, the line will be bent towards the y-axis because uh, this angle will be less than forty-five degree, and this angle will be greater than forty-five degree. So this is the condition which have to be fulfilled. So now. So I will name this point as x i, and since we are moving in x direction by unit one, that is by unit direction, that is by one unit. So these two points, that is x i and x i plus one. So this will be x i plus. One at point. So difference between two column is one. Similarly, here so this point I will name it as y i, and this point I am naming it as y i plus one. So I will project here. Since we are moving in one unit in y direction, so difference between two rows will be one. So similarly, we know that x i plus one, this this point is this point plus this one. So x i plus one is x i plus one. So and your y i plus one is this point, which is equal to This point it is y i plus this one. So now we will put these equations of x i plus one and y i plus one. Put the equation in three. So equation three is this one. This is that equation. So I will replace i x plus one as i x plus one. Then after replacing that x i plus one value in this equation three, the equation three will become y i plus one, which is equal to y i plus m. So just we have to replace x i plus one, which is equal to x i plus one, in equation three. So this corresponding equation I will get. Now similarly, we will replace that is we will put. This equation in three. So after replacing y i plus one, which is equal to y i plus one, in this equation, so the equation will become x i plus one, which is equal to x i plus one upon m. So we give a rectangle block. For these equations, 
so now so we know that m which is equal to dy by dx so we know that slope one is less than one another one is greater than one so the condition here that is xi plus one xi plus 1 for xi plus 1th point which is equal to xi plus 1 for y plus 1th point which is equal to y plus m so now i will write xi plus 1 which is equal to xi plus 1 and y plus 1 which is equal to y i which is m here m is dy by dx we are replacing the value of m by dy by dx so now similarly we have the equations for m is greater than 1 that is yi plus 1 which is equal to yi plus 1 and xi plus 1 is equal to xi plus it is 1 upon m but the value of m we are replacing as dy upon dx so it will become dy upon dx so now xi plus 1 which is equal to xi so 1 can be written as dx upon dx because after cancellation it will become as 1 so similarly i am just modeling as mod for denominator so y plus 1 which is equal to y plus dy and i am giving denominator as a mod which means that it is a it will outcome will be positive so similarly for m is greater than 1 which is y i plus 1 which is equal to y i we know that dy upon d dy so after cancellation it will become 1 so for just adjustment purpose i am using dy by dy so after cancellation it will become 1 similarly for xi plus 1 which is xi plus dx upon dy so for denominator i am giving mod the outcome will be positive for that sake so we know that m which is equal to dy by dx so for m greater than 1 so i am continuing in next page so for m for m greater than 1 where m is dy upon dx so dy will become so the equation will become in this form which means that dx is greater than dy so i am modeling it by mod so so we have to model denominator means whichever one is greater i have to write it as denominator here dx is greater so i will write here dx so amongst dx and dy which one is greater i will model it as a denominator similarly for m is greater than 1 so we know that m is dy upon dx so dx will be shifted in this side that side so which means that dy is greater than dx so denominator denominator is modeled as one which is greater i will write it as denominator so for m is greater than one sorry m is less than one the denominator value is dx for m is greater than one the denominator value is mod of dy so now we will write the general generalized e condition so generalized condition for drawing a line with any slope so it will be written as xi plus 1 which is equal to xi plus dx upon denominator similarly for yi plus 1 to be written as yi plus dy upon denominator so this is a generalized condition for drawing a line with any slope so i will provide it with rectangular block so this condition we will use while solving the algorithm problems so now we will write down the algorithms for drawing a line 
so the algorithm will be so dda algorithm for drawing a line with any slope so step 1 declaration of variables so we will declare some variables so for x1 y1 which is starting point on the line x2 y2 is the end point on the line float x y is the current point on the line so dx and dy these are the values that is difference in x coordinates and y coordinate values for starting and ending point so float denominator is so a common denominator of increment and i is a counter of loop so the counter means how much the ith value is there the last value is there so it will depend on that loop so it will depend on the last value so now second step is the initialization so read x1 y1 and x2 y2 that is starting point of the line and ending point of the line so step 3 is calculations so calculations are basically we will calculate dx that is difference in x and device difference in y so first we will calculate this two difference values for x and y coordinates and now afterwards we will check that d which one is greater if dx is greater than dy then the denominator will be modeled as for dx if dy is greater than dx then denominator will be dy which means that since there are two conditions for slope that is less than 1 and greater than 1 so here also if dx is greater than dy the denominator will be mod of dx that is we will consider only positive value so for dy which is greater than dx then denominator will be modeled as mod of dy so in that condition the x can x increment will be dx upon denominator and for y increment is dy upon denominator so this all calculations we will do and the last part of the algorithm is plotting of points so we will start for x value that is x which is equal to i x i point means i th point and y is equal to y for i th point so we will replace the value of i which is equal to 0 so it will become x and y so loop loop will be generated so put pixel round x and round y means we will not take the fraction values so we will always go on integer value so we will directly do round off that is 2.5 it will be directly rounded as 3 so then we will do x equal to x plus x increment and y which is equal to y plus y increment so this condition is to be done while solving the problems and we will continue till i equal to i plus 1 and we will stop until i that is value of i is less than equal to denominator so the stopping condition is that i is less than equal to denominator so this is the algorithm for line generation for dda that is digital differential analyzer thank you